Hello all and welcome to today's video. My name is John McFall and I want to welcome you to the McFall RI channel where I teach you how to make $25 to $30 an hour doing food delivery and I also teach you how to make semi-passive income. With the start of the new year, 2022 is rolling in and a lot of people have made New Year's resolutions and they have decided that this is the year that they're going to start their semi-passive business and they're going to start working on something to make them money this year in their own business. Today, I wanna to kinda of talk to you about why a lot of people that are, are thinking this are going to end up failing and what you can do to make sure that you don't fail yourself this year. Before we get into the topic, I do want to remind you that down here in my description, I have some great tools for you guys. The first one I want to talk about is TubeBuddy. If you have a YouTube channel or you're getting ready to start one, TubeBuddy is a great tool that you can use to get yourself some more views, some more likes, and more subscribers. I've used it on this channel since I started it, and I've used it on others. And I'm going to throw up a quick video so you guys can check it out. Whether you're looking to improve an existing YouTube channel or you're starting out fresh, TubeBuddy can help. This Google Chrome extension is a safe, convenient way to grow your following. SEO tools help you choose keywords to maximize visibility, while analytics give you precise insights into your channel's progress. You can edit thumbnails and descriptions en masse, or post videos to your Facebook without having to leave the site. It can even audit your content to help prevent devastating demonetization. You can try TubeBuddy for free, but some features require a monthly subscription. Click the link below to learn more. I do want to let you know that if you do get a paid version of TubeBuddy by using the link in my description, I do earn a commission. But the great thing about TubeBuddy is that you can use it for absolutely free. And then as your channel grows, you can get the paid versions to give yourself some better and some more powerful tools to help you increase what you're doing on YouTube even more. So head down in my description and go grab it if you find that it would be useful for you. And with that, let's get into the topic. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the actual planning of your business. A lot of people think that they just start throwing content out or they they get onto places like ClickBank or Shopify or maybe they write a book or you know maybe they open an online store but they don't lay out a great plan to get from where they are to being successful at their semi-passive income business. You can have a great idea in your head and you can know what it is that you think that you're going to do, but if you do not lay out the framework and you do not lay out a good foundation by planning out what your business is going to do and what your business is going to be, you have no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to go. So the planning phase of the business is very important. Uh, a, a lot of years ago, it was really important when you were starting a, a business to lay out a business plan. And a business plan basically laid out where you are currently and what you're going to do to build what you want to build so that you can be successful at your online business. A business plan is a great idea to put together to be successful and you don't have to put together a hundred page book on what your business is going to be but at minimum you have got to know uh, a few different things. Number one, you have to know what it is that you're selling. If you don't know what the right product or the right service is for you, then you're not going to, to be successful. Then you have to figure out who it is that is most likely to buy that stuff from you so that you know where to target your marketing and your advertising so you can get in front of the right people. Define who that niche market is so that you know who it is that you want to uh, um, sell the stuff to so that you can get out there and get in front of those people that are going to actually buy from you. So it's really, really important that you start 
with a good solid plan on what it is that you're going to sell and who it is that you're going to sell to and this will lead you into how to get into uh, or how to get in front of those people so that you can sell to them the second problem that people have when they're starting their semi-passive um, business is consistency consistency is huge when it comes to doing any kind of social media when you're trying to get in front of the people that you want to sell to I have said it many times in a lot of videos that once you start doing your business once you start doing your social media it is vitally important that you are consistent in getting that content out there in front of people so that they can can see your name and they see it on a regular basis i've said it uh, in the past where it's like your favorite tv show when you go to you know let's say youtube or when you go to netflix or when you go to hulu or whatever cable there's a lot of different places that we go to to find the things that we want to watch and the biggest thing that people run into when they are starting their online business is let's say you you know that every week on, on Tuesday on Thursday and on Sunday that somebody is putting out content and one day you go to get that content and, and they haven't put that content out you start to lose interest from that moment forward if people are not being consistent in uh, putting out the content no matter if it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or snapchat or YouTube or a blog or a podcast I've talked about this a lot you have got to be consistent in putting out your content because if you don't be consistent the people that are expecting it to be there and when they don't see it's there they're not going to come back so you have got to be consistent every week whether it's one time a week or every day of the week if you set that pace when you first start your your social media stuff you have got to continue that pace because that's what people expect because that's the expectations that you put in front of them so being consistent and putting out the content is, is very very important to you being successful with your semi-passive business online the third thing i want to suggest to you is giving up too early a lot of people in today's society they want things to happen and they want the things to happen right now the problem with this is is sometimes it takes a long time for you to get to that point of being successful in your semi-passive business because if you're starting at zero you've got to, to build from the ground up and you have got to give it the time to to incubate and, and to grow and, and to to, to become something from nothing so you've really got to be patient with your semi-passive income business and you've got to keep doing until you become successful at your semi-passive income business you don't know you might be one post or you you might be one video or one podcast away from from launching yourself into success and and you don't know when that point is going to be where you will jump into being successful when you were first starting especially if you've never done social media before it's going to take you a long time to figure out what it is that you need to do to get the people to come to you and, and when you're first starting the the stuff that you throw out there isn't going to have a whole lot of views it's not going to have a whole lot of likes it's not going to have a whole lot of con comments and you're going to have to just keep pushing through until you get to that point where you understand what it takes to put a, a post or a blog or a podcast or a video out there that people start latching on to and then from there you can grow and do even more but if you don't uh, 
do this and you give up too early, then you're not going to find that success. So you, you've got to give it the time to grow into what you want it to grow into. And don't give up too early because you don't know when that, that, that one thing is going to happen that's going to, to propel you and launch you into the stratosphere of being successful in your semi-passive income business. So make sure that you don't give up too early and you continue trying and grinding even when it doesn't seem like anything is happening. So to recap what I talked about today, there are three things that are really important to make sure that you are very, very successful in your semi-passive income business. The first one is setting out that roadmap planning out what you want your business to be and what you want it to grow. It is really, really important to plan it out the right way so that you know how to get from where you are to where you want to be. The second thing that you've really got to do is, is you've got to be consistent. When you start producing content for any kind of social media, you have got to really, really be consistent in what you are throwing out there so that people keep coming back to what you are putting out there. The third thing that I talked about was that you have got to give it time and don't ever give up too early because if you give up too early, you are definitely not going to be successful. So make sure that you give it enough time to build it into something that is going to be successful for you and don't, don't give up too early. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and learned a lot. I want to remind you, head down into my description, go grab TubeBuddy if you uh, think it might be useful for you. I also want to remind you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I want to leave you with, I hope that you are out there getting the money that you and your family deserve. And with that, I want to say thanks.